Welcome, lords and ladies. We are back playing around in the beta for Game of Thrones. Winter is coming. I've never streamed this before, but we've got a ton of stuff to do. It looks like since I last played, there was a really sweet update to the um, rails that they put in the game, the quest line for new players. So we've created a new account we're making a ton of progress, and we're going to cruise through that together. Now, I'm just going to make sure that my stream is cruising along nicely here. Normally, I've got a uh, green screen going on so that like it blends in really nicely with the background, but we're traveling for work, so no green screen today. Womp womp. All right, Groovy Goat, what's going on? Welcome in the chat. So... There's a bunch of things we're trying to do when we play this game, and many of you uh, follow me from Rise of Civilizations, so you're probably used to some of these th mechanics that we're about to explore. One of those is powering up your castle, which is kind of like the centerpiece of your city, and of course this is a city development game. So every time that you power up this building, there's going to be some other required buildings. It looks like we need to get the wall and the maester tower to seven and we actually are just about done with this maester tower when you get really close to finishing a building you can complete it for free based on your vip level so we're going to finish that off and we need to do the wall the wall requires the mine <laughs> so we're gonna fire off the mine here to level seven hit help get that rolling and keep the progress going here in the meantime the Maester's Tower is very much like the uh, Academy from Rise of Civilizations. So we've got some research going. We're going to finish that off using the same mechanic we showed before. And at my level, which is pretty low at this point in the game, there's a couple trees that we can use. There's the Economy Tree, the City Defense Tree, Military and Expedition, Game... Game Lod is wondering what game is this? This is the Game of Thrones Winter is Coming beta, and I believe it's still a closed beta, although I've got a link in the description which you can check out. You may actually be able to sign up now and play with me. I am not totally sure. So we're going to figure out what we want to research next. I'm pretty sure we want to be rocking military here, and we're going to just fire off this quick research for our spearmen. Now, much like other games that we've played, there are four different types of troops going on in this game. There's bowmen, there's uh, infantry, spearmen, and cavalry. We're currently training up some light bowmen. All right. What we really want to do in our session today is kind of level up the city hall a whole heck of a lot and to do that a part of what we need to do is complete our main quest line so we're gonna push on this main quest line uh let's see connor is asking when is this game available for everyone this game is available for everyone sometime in the spring sometime in the spring um that said you could go to the link in the description and see if now they're starting to open it up. Let's see here. We've got a bunch of quests we're going to complete. And, you know, by the way, I haven't streamed this game before. This is a little bit of an experiment. So you're going to have to let me know kind of how you like it. If it's a hit, we'll keep doing it. If not, we'll explore other stuff. For now... I think what I want to do is get into a little bit of the tactical combat. And we're going to rock something called the Weirwood. We unlocked very recently the elite tier of this Weirwood, which is um, essentially a mode where you get to battle with some of your commanders. This is a game that has a bunch of commanders. We've unlocked a whole heck of a, a lot of them. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Six of many, many more than six. And I'm sure they're going to come out with more commanders. I'm sure they're going to come out with more commanders. So let's check out the Weirwood. 
We're going to do the elite tier. We're going to try 1-3. And what's interesting about the tactical combat in this game is that you need to counter the unit that you're battling. And this is very similar to um, other games that we've played where certain units are more effective when battling against other units. That chart is kind of off to the side here. Cavalry is really good against infantry. Infantry is really good against spearmen, and spearmen are really good against cavalry. And then archers, I guess, are just kind of in the middle. They're not strong in particular against anything, but not weak against anything, which is kind of interesting. So we're going to fire this up. Oh, it looks like we have another commander we can use. That's kind of interesting. Well, we'll put him like that. Okay. Let's battle. Let's do this thing. All right. So the way this combat mode works is your troops charge in and they have special abilities that power up and then you set where you want them to hit. I'm going to use this area of effect attack from Rob Stark. And then you can see my um, Sansa Stark is kind of fiery looking. That means her ability is ready to rock. She's got a full heal. So I'm going to try to heal up before my unit dies, which we pull off. All right, now we've got this commander, Osman, who does a huge stun effect, which is making this battle so much easier. And, oh, we did lose one of our commanders. I didn't even see that happen. Well, we still won. I was expecting that to be multiple rounds. Only two stars, though. I think we can do better. So that gives us a commander shard of Rob Stark. So I guess every time we beat this mode and we can looks like we can simulate it probably if we if we beat it with 3 stars, we can get a whole bunch of shards of these different commanders and that's how we can power them up a lot. Okay. Okay. Let's get a look um at this next one. This is going to have Hmm. We're going to have to move around our... Oh, there's no good place to put cavalry in this matchup. Cavalry is weak everywhere. That's awkward. So maybe we swap it around like that and hope for the best. Let's see how it goes. Alright, we're going into battle. And waiting for our abilities to power up as soon as we see that those have... Oh, man. My, ca my commanders are maybe a little underpowered for this tier of the event. But we're going to hit a bunch of them here. And we're, we're using all of our abilities basically as soon as they're available. It's hard to talk through because it's going so darn fast. We don't control where our commanders go in this mode. You just kind of control what lane that they entered the battle in. Bada boom. We've got a full heal for the party. So we're definitely going to win, but this is going to be two stars. I actually kind of wonder if we would be better off bringing one fewer unit. Bring my, Don't bring my weaker commander, and maybe we're better off. In this game mode, it's based purely off of the strength of your commanders rather than the amount of army you have. So anyways, we did win, which is kind of cool. Bada boom. All right, with that done, we're going to head back over to our city. We've got a couple folks in the chat here. Connor asking question, in your opinion, so far, is this a big pay-to-win game? Are there clans? And if you make them, can viewers join? Um, so there are alliances, and these alliances work similar to some things we've seen before. You can help your members do building, and that rewards you some coins that you can use for goodies. There are um, alliance presents that you get when members of your alliance accomplish certain things. And because the game is in beta, there's currently no payment at all for anything. So I don't know what that's going to look like in its final form. That's a very good question. Um, I can tell you that there probably will be, and the currency that's going to be used is diamonds. I suspect that's going to be the big currency, 
And it seems like you can use diamonds all over the place to, for instance, let's see here. I can go in and I can, I can do something called hastening. And I can hasten using speed ups or I can do that using diamonds up top over here. So I'm pretty sure that there would be a pay to win component. And if there is, it would be diamonds. If it is, there would be diamonds. Fair questions. Is this game better than Rise of Civilizations? This is, um, it seems similar so far. I'm so early on, it's, it would be impossible for me to compare them beyond to say, like, there's a lot of similar mechanics. I'll say that the commander mechanics are a good bit different in this game. So, for instance, if I take a look at this commander, Thera, and I don't remember this commander from the Game of Thrones series, but anyways, um, every commander can get, I guess, upgraded to a new power level. And I've currently got her at like the second power level. We're going to make our way to the third level. And you do that by equipping gear that you get from running missions, from killing things on the map. I haven't even showed you the world map yet. The world map is large. So we're going to equip all this gear on her. And now we can promote her from rank two to rank three. And because we have a pretty solid VIP level, the last 13 minutes of everything we build is free. So there we go. This increases her power pretty significantly. And now I don't have any of the gear that's required to keep kind of powering her up. But every piece of gear you put on one of these commanders is making them stronger and stronger, which is kind of cool. So we've now got three commanders at level three. This guy who's at level one was one of the first guys to die. And we need to go find one of these daggers. We need to go find one of these daggers and see if we can get it. So we're going to do this blitz function. And we got it. Sweet. See, because I because I beat that level of the Weirwood on three stars, I could simulate it. Oh, do I not have enough of it? Did that not work? I own one. Can I hit equip? There we go. All right, cool. And now he's level two. I bet you if we did both of those elite tier missions again, we'd beat them now that he is up to the second rank. Um, each of your commanders, by the way, you can get metals of them to improve their quality. I don't know exactly how that works, but I've got the metals unlocked for Osman, so he's now green quality. So um, unlike other games we've played where commanders are either like green or blue or epic or legendary, it looks like every commander here can cycle through different levels of excellence. And as you kind of power them up, they get stronger and stronger. Let's see. Um, this is probably a little too complicated to look at now, but every one of these commanders has skills. And as you rank them up, um, the strength of those skills gets stronger. I honestly don't even know what's going on over here yet. I'll have to figure that out later. I'm still very much learning this game myself. Very much still learning this game myself. Now, that said, this VIP level that I was showing you earlier, you can see here that because we have VIP level 5, every time a construction gets down to only 13 minutes remaining, we can just finish it for basically free, which is pretty sweet. It's kind of an interesting take on the VIP level. So now we can go back to the Maester's Tower, and you know our strategy at this point, because we're so early on, is just researching a bunch of things that are relatively cheap, because we're, we get them to that 13-minute mark where they're basically free in no time. So we're upgrading our Spearman armor, which hopefully helps. Um, and we'll let that cruise for now. So there's a couple things we want to do. One of them is to attack this outpost. So in this game, you'll, you've got your city. And this is just our city, and including all the neighboring kind of territories. And these neighboring territories are owned by enemies. When you defeat them, you get the territory. So this territory right now has an enemy castle. This territory over here, which I've now got a ton of buildings in, used to look the same with an enemy castle. Same with this one over here. So we're really kind of cruising along, clearing these things out. And this is required to make our progress through the main storyline. Now, it looks like we're really close to finishing training up these troops. As soon as they're done, 
I think we're going to have enough troops to go launch a big attack um, in this next game mode where we assault this kind of NPC castle. I say NPC, it's a non-player character. Now, with that said, after we've done that, I'm going to take us to the world map and we'll just get a look around at all the other stuff that's going on because, it, man, it is, it is almost overwhelming. So you can see here the different types of troops we can train. There's also different tiers of troops that you can unlock. The tier four look pretty beast, not going to lie. But we're, we're still in tier one noob land. So we're going to just get a small number of spearmen in case we need to hasten these up or want them later. So we'll, sure, we'll train those up, get that going. And let's see. We complete a quest, which gets us a bunch of goodies. We complete another quest, more goodies, and now to the get to the next part of the storyline, it's now time to battle. We need to battle. The defending lineup is shown here. The enemy rating is 9,960. They've got some level 12, 10, and 10 commanders, and it looks like we unlock a bunch of land if we beat it, and they've got their army listed over here, and... In this game, your wall can have different kinds of defenses. You can have different types of, like, traps, and, um, I mean, if you've watched Game of Thrones, you know, right? Like, you throw down rocks, you throw down oil, you, you got watchtowers. Anyways, we're going to challenge this thing, and we can only bring two commanders, which is kind of a bummer. So we're going to bring our highest level commanders. We're going to bring Osman, and we're going to bring, hmm... I guess technically Thera is our higher commander. I really li like Rob Stark. We're going to bring these two. And hit confirm. Now what does it think? It thinks our army is 28,000 rating, I think. So we should totally smash this. Hmm, well, we'll find out one way or another. In this game mode, troops do die. You permanently lose troops. So... There's some consequences if we fail here. And we are outnumbered, so some mistakes were made here in my calculations. Uh-oh. So if we win this, it's purely off the backs of the strength of our commanders. In this game mode, you just kind of watch the mayhem unfold. I haven't figured out how to influence the battle at all. So we just sit back and watch here. And we hope that we overpower this enemy. Might have been a little aggressive in our choice to make to do this battle. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. Oh, no, we're, look, we're evening it up. We're totally evening it up now. Okay, the city wall is breached. Now we actually fight their main armies. The real battling begins. Oh, yeah, and this is where we're just completely overpowering them. So much of their strength was in that wall. Okay. Now, that's interesting. Their army retreated. Oh, man. But that, that did not go well for us. We probably should have had more troops <laughs> before we did that. Yikes. Oh, man. Well, it's a beta. We're learning. Whatever. Whatever. So you can see their total number of troops went down. But, yeah, we're... That we were not... We did not have enough troops for that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to heal up the troops we have. We're going to confirm... And while we train up these troops, I think what we want to do, we want to power out a bunch of troops. Let's use a bunch of speed ups, train a bunch of troops, and then do that battle over again. And I bet it will go a good bit better. So we're going to train a bunch of tier one, quick hasten, do it now, bada boom, bunch more tier one, train that up, quick hasten. Bada boom. I mean, what's the point of having speed ups if you don't use them, right? Now we've got a ton more troop power where we can go battle this again. Here we go. They've got fewer troops. Their rating is down. Hit challenge. We're going to... Yep. When I hit auto select, it, it shows wisely. And our army is now bigger than it was before. So we're going to do this thing again. Um, and we're going to hit attack. Is this the smartest way to go about doing this? We probably need to train even more troops and hit it when we have an overwhelming force. Oh, we're looking pretty overwhelming now, though. 2,200? Yeah. Um, let's see. Next question. 
is this game better than Rise of Civilizations? Um, I, man, I am, I still don't even know how to play this game. I, I can't compare them. I love the TV show. Can't wait to play this game. Honestly, I'm loving the TV show as well. And it's pretty sweet to collect the lords and ladies from the show. There's an event going on right now for Arya Stark. I'll show it to you in a minute. I'm super pumped to unlock her. Okay, so the defensive army retreated again. Let's see if they had any survivors. Oh, they had none. We killed them all. But they killed another 300 of our troops. Ugh, the losses are real. Whatever. It's fine. I'm fine. You're fine. Everything's fine. We, so we captured the territory, which is really important in our being able to advance in the storyline. So... Here we go. We're going to claim these rewards for completing the storyline. See, we get a bunch of Osman medals, which is really good. Okay. New function unlocked. Activity event. Get daily activities to win rewards. So that seems cool. All right. Yes, if you watch the TV show, you know who this is, Melisandre. Complete daily quests to win great rewards. And there's an active reward. Cool. Ooh. We got Jon Snow on the cover here. So, okay. Daily daily quests? We can do daily quests. What's this? Gilded sausage. Ah, food gives your commander's experience. I mean, that kind of makes sense, right? Well, training a bunch of different types of units. Okay. So there's a bunch of ways to get goodies. There is so much to do in this game. It could just be that... Like, it's all new to me, so it feels overwhelming. But there is an unbelievable amount of stuff to do. So we also finished up a couple side quests. You can see those listed over here. We're going to cl claim the rewards for those. There we go. And what they want us to do is attain level 2 and quarry mastery. So that's currently not something we're researching. Where even is that? That takes a full hour to research, and we'll deal with that later. We'll deal with that later. Now, we've acquired 500 gems. Let me show you what I promised over here. There is an event going on right now, and it looks like new quests for this ev event unlock every seven days. And I only have one day of the event showing, so I don't know how this is going to work for other parts. But um, if you do a bunch of these different things, you get credit toward shards for Arya Stark, which I think are over here. So I think I can unlock her. Yeah, I only need 10 to unlock. I can unlock her over here. I don't even know like what she does, but it's Arya Stark, so obviously we need to unlock Arya Stark. Obviously. Um, one of the things we can do to get credit, I think, is to buy this offer. I, I don't know if that's true or not, but we have diamonds and what the heck. What happens? So we did that. Did that count at all? It said five points. I don't see where they went. Purchase today's offer to complete five points. Um, eh, whatever. Okay. So, let's see what we need to do to get the next level of our journey here complete. We need to upgrade the castle to level eight. Train 500 tier one troops. That's going to be easy. Clear normal stage 2-9 in the Weirwood, and then take Deerwood. Deerwood is over here. Wait a minute. We just did this. It looks like it was recaptured by some other enemy. What? I wanted to get all that land. All right, well, first things first. Let's get our troop training going. We need... Ugh, man, we lost so many cavalry. We're going to train these up. And I think I know where they are. We lost so many cavalry because they're all in the hospital. Uh, well, the infantry are in the hospital. We're going to heal them up. Insufficient resources. We need more iron. We've got a bunch of tokens for iron, so we'll fire those up. Make sure we have enough. There we go. Get the healing going. All right. Troops are healed. Looking pretty good. And... Okay. I see a little exclamation point here, which tells me maybe something can be collected. Oh, uh, yes, we can claim something. And we've got a bunch of partial credit towards these daily quests. That's cool. Now, there's a chest for weekly activity. Oh, this is a random chest. Ooh, a thousand gems. 
How does this work? Okay. So once I have enough of these done every day and every week, I can get a bunch of goodies. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. By the way, when I logged in today, it said uh, that Varus would be free to me if I just log in tomorrow. So, pff, yeah, it, tomorrow is in, looks like two hours, 31 minutes. So we're definitely going to do that. We've got a solid 40 people watching this game, which is amazing to me because this is not a game that we've really been covering a lot on our channel up to this point. Um, if you've got questions about this game, definitely drop them in the comments. It's pretty fun. Obviously, there's a lot of similarities to the games we're already rocking. Jazz on Mars, what's going on? Um, this game, you might be able to just sign up now and start playing. You might be able to just sign up now and start playing. I'm in the closed beta, um, but I imagine sooner than later it's going to open up, and there's a link in the description to pre-register. Um, yeah, this will be a pretty sweet game to play on mobile as well. I agree. This is a browser game that we're playing right now. Um, and, you know, there's some advantages to that. A part of the advantage is, like, the graphics are pretty sweet, and you get a lot of detail. Okay, let's actually make some progress here. We need to train 500 troops. That's in progress. Clear normal stage 2-9. Let's go check that out in the Weirwood. Normal stage two nine is all the way over here. Um, I mean, let's let's rock. Let's rock. We know that we need to use the right units to counter theirs. So we need to bring, let's see, cavalry to counter infantry, and we want to bring infantry to counter spearmen. There we go. All our counters are in place, and we're ready to battle. Here we go. And we're off to the races. All right. Um, we're going to use this skill. Now, when I use a special ability, I try to target the highest health units. Because you can see there, it did so much damage that, like, they kind of stood no chance. I killed the entire unit with the one special. So wh why hit the weak army? I also really try to... Oh, man. I use my specials very aggressively in this game. It seems like that works really well. And you can see here I'm trying to hit the maximum number of enemies with each of these specials. I'll be honest, it's a little chaotic because it's so fast-paced, but I think that's because we're so overpowered for this level of difficulty. They don't expect that we would know how to play the game. But we do. We're still in the early mode here. We're going to rock a formation for this. Okay, now we got to change our configuration. Um, if we swap around like that, we're looking pretty good. We have no way to counter this row, but at least we're not countered by it. And let's battle. And let's battle. TV show is, of course, the best one ever, says Ifan. And, man, I agree that the show is freaking amazing. And, you know... Pulling off the popularity of the TV show, I think there's a very good chance this game will be really popular. Okay. We're looking really good in these early stages. We're up against a bunch of cell swords, And... This is interesting. He attacks in a line. Let's do this. Boom. Then rock that. It's so fast-paced. Osman's damage going in. And by the way, like the specials can be used when my characters are glowing on fire down in the bottom. Um, I'm using the hotkeys Q, W, E, A, S, D to control that. And we get a bunch of goodies, which is sweet. We're cruising right along. This is stuff we have to do in order to um, complete the next part of the storyline. So, oh my goodness, that doesn't look good. Can we counter this? Yes. And I don't know if we have a way to counter that row. We have a way to not be countered by that row, but I think that's the best we can do. All right. Here we go. I'd love to unlock some more commanders, by the way. At that point, we'll have to start picking and choosing which ones we actually invest in. In these early stages, we seem to have basically unlimited gear of the types that we need. But I imagine that's going to get a whole heck of a lot more dicey. Okay. 
I mean, savage. It's not hard enough. I mean, a part of this is we know what we're doing. But now, this battle is going to have three rounds instead of two. So it could get dicey really, really quickly here. Um, you can see, by the way, all the way in the right, we have Sansa Stark. And Sansa Stark does a full heal of everyone in my party. So I'll use that ability now, and, like, everybody pops back to full health. So strong. Sansa might be the strongest commander, in my opinion, followed by Osman. And Osman is the one that does that, like, circle area of effect attack. I'll point that out in a second. Oh, we really need to target this unit. This is the boss right over here. This is the boss. Okay. Here's Rob Stark. This is Osman's ability. It, it does a huge area of effect and stuns all the targets, which is just very, very powerful. We're going to rock a full heal now to bring everybody back to full health. And we're going to keep beating in. Nice. I think this is just about wrapped up, and we're going to three-star it. There we go. Bada-boom. Leveling up our commanders. Now... Some of our commanders are stuck at level 15, and I think that is because, let's see here. In addition to having commander levels in this game, you also have a lord level. So I'm lord level 14, and when my lord level goes up a little bit more, I think that my commanders will be able to go up as well. Um, when your lord levels up, by the way, you can apply talent points, which are very similar to technology. Um, I put all of my points into troop training speed because, like, look, I'm pretty sure troops are going to matter like crazy, and 30% training speed seems out of this world good. Out of this world good. Okay, now if we get a look at our commanders, we got some loot, but not enough to actually put any loot on anybody meaningful. I'm hesitant to commit loot because, like, I only have so many of these. Like, I only have one of those, one of those... If I use them on this commander, I might wish I put them on a different one. Um, okay, let's go back into the Weirwood. We're making our way through normal. We've got to get through 2-9. So let's rock a formation. And I expect this is going to get a lot harder. I expect this is going to get a lot harder. There's our formation. Just Woot, what's going on, dude? Thanks for watching. Oh, man. We're back in the battle. This is a browser game, not a mobile game. This is a browser game. All right, we're going to get big damage going over here. And I mean, we are just dominating this level of difficulty. All right, charging in. I still could make a mistake here and have one of my commanders die, which would be unfortunate. Now, I'm setting this area of effect to hit four targets, and I'm picking, I think, the four highest health targets. Now I can target anyone I want with that ability, which is really strong. We'll get a full heal going so we can do the next round at full health. Oh, that was the end. Okay, easy. Easy mode. What I'm really eager to see is how this looks when you're battling other players. I'm very eager to see what that looks like. And, you know, look, we're, we're in the super early stages here. I don't know that we're at the point where it wants us battling other players. We're such a noob still. Oh, interesting. Can I... Is there any good configuration here for me? No. I'm going to get countered everywhere I go. I could do that. I don't love this. This is why having a deep roster of commanders seems really, really strong. So you can always have the right counter to whatever you're battling. Jamie Lannister there on the cut screen. Talk about a commander I want to unlock. He seems like he would be really strong just based on lore. All right. Huge damage. There we go. Crushing it. No wonder it said we should go all the way to 2-9. I mean, we've totally got this. All right. Special attack in. Dude, that archer attack is just so strong. All right. And I guess we'll hit this guy. We're just steamrolling. We're just steamrolling. 
Okay. Got a bunch of goodies. I skipped the loot screen. I should have I should have at least looked at the loot screen. Now you can see every three stages, you can do this blitz function, which is basically letting you run it on repeat multiple times so that you can get the loot. Oh, whoa. We're not up against Jamie Lannister, are we? Or is this picture just here? Well, let's find out. No. Secrets of Quarth? All right. I don't remember who that was. Who was that in the lore? We, I think we've got the best counters we can possibly do set up here. Yeah. Yeah, that's the best we can do. All right. Here we go. More questions. Valentine's event is in three hours. That is true. That is true. We will cover that. All right. We're smashing. I mean, this is just a super steamroll. This is a super steamroll. I don't, I don't Do I even need to use my abilities? So obviously powering up your commanders is very, very strong in this game. And is one of the key mechanics for this game mode in particular is to really power up your commanders a lot. And that is something that we have done. Yeah, there we go. Crushed it. Oh, the, ooh, yes, there's a boss fight here. I forgot. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to focus our specials on the boss. Where we can, anyways. He's got a ton of units. Look at that. 15,000 15, health. Uh-oh. Uh All my units got stunned. Oh, and he killed one of my guys. Well, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate because now we don't have a three-starred. We'll have to beat it again later. Holy cow, this is... He killed another one of my guys. Okay, well, this got a little out of hand. All my units are stunned. Just when I thought this was easy. Full heal from Sansa Stark. I don't know that we needed it, but we'll follow it up with a stun to end the fight. Wow, that was tough. That came out of nowhere at the end. That super came out of nowhere. Woo, okay. That was not what I was expecting. Krisu, did you see how Shinchi panicked when he was betrayed in Rise of Civilizations? Yeah, betrayal is an interesting thing in Rise of Civilizations. I'm not a fan. Now we have a Spirit of the Heart Tree, which we can use to restore our energy, and we can keep going here. We can keep going so we can actually finish up the quest. Here we go. I think that counters everything and leaves us not countered. We're going to try to finish this chapter, if we can, uh, in our journey in this game. And, you know, see how far we can push the content. I think there's a whole bunch of additional game modes that we have not even unlocked yet, which is really cool. All right. Big damage all around. Love it. Love it. We're cruising along. All right. Oh, man, we could hit a lot of units with this, maybe? Two? All right, we'll take it. With the line attack, then with the sweep attack, then we'll kill that guy in the front and rock a full heal from Sansa Stark, bringing everybody back to full health, finishing this guy off with an attack from Rob Stark. Easy. Three stars. Yes, it's the boss fights that are actually hard, apparently. And we get a bunch of Lord experience, which is really good. We've got two more battles before we finish up this tier. We're going to have to move these around. Oh, yeah, that looks perfect. So I'm sure that in this early part of the game, they're, you know, these challenges are giving us a lot of easy ways to counter what they're doing, which makes sense. All right, let's get some big damage here. Heal going in. And we'll finish off the round. So one technique that you can use in this game is to finish each round with a ton of energy so that when you go into the next round, you can use your specials right away. So you can see, like, this this is just going to be totally brutal as an opener, right? Like, in a fraction of a second, I just wiped them all out. So that might be part of the strategy. All right. And we're continuing to level up one of these commanders, at least, so I feel really good about that. 
And that was my weakest commander. So here we go. Another boss fight. We're up. Uh, this is normal difficulty. It's sunny. Huh. I guess sunny is the weather. Interesting. I wonder how the weather affects things. Um, okay, so we can... Oh, well, this is interesting. Do we have a good way to do this? Maybe like this? Maybe like that? Maybe that's the way to do it. Yeah, that's definitely the way to do it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's our best configuration. All right, here we go. After we finish this up, I'll show you the world map. The world map is pretty crazy. Right now, we're in our starting location, but I'm pretty sure I should teleport to wherever my alliance is. And I am in an alliance. In fairness, I just kind of joined the, the first one I found that had a very high uh, member limit and number of members. What's going on, Stapa? Good to see you in the chat. Okay. Doing huge damage. And now I think I should save my energy to start the next fight with full energy. Yeah, I feel good about that. I might need to do an early heal from Sansa Stark to prevent this guy from dying. But let's see what happens here. Let's see if we can get some big damage over here. Chain these stuns together. And keep that damage rolling. Hitting a bunch of targets. Now I'm putting in the heal. And they're going to get their special. Holy moly. Whole screen shakes. That was so much damage. And let's keep the damage focused on the boss. Oh no. Ah, we healed too soon. We healed too soon. Rob Stark died. We still beat it. But we didn't three star it. All right. Two stars. Okay. Okay. That's cool. And, ooh, we get some goodies. Gems. I'll take gems. Claim all that. Let's head back out. And we'll do a little bit more. We get some diamonds. Ah, we can get the free upgrade to our spearmen. Free completion of a building we were working on. That's awesome. Claim some rewards for doing stuff we were doing anyways, which seems good. And now let's see. What do we need to do the castle? We need the wall. All right, let's get that wall going, hit help, and we should get some research going in our Maester's Tower. We're very interested in military research at the moment. To get veteran cavalry, we need Maester Tower 9 and cavalry armor 2. So we're going to rock this one, cavalry armor 2. Veteran cavalry is tier 2 cavalry, I'm pretty sure. So we definitely want to rush our way to that. We're going to collect our rewards for having completed that. Bada boom. And now we've got to get our castle up to eight. I guess we just need the wall to do that. Okay. Seems good. We completed a quest. Hit Lord level 15, which means we get some talent points to apply. Oh, it looks like we get another quest over here. Cool. We got a bunch of quests done. Oh, yeah. So many goodies. I think we might hit Lord level 16. Wow, we are getting super rewarded for following the rails they set forward. That's pretty incredible. So clearly pushing difficulty in the Weirwood is amazing. We're up to Lord level 17. Holy moly. Okay. Well, now we have a lot of talent points. So let's figure out what we're going to do here. I feel like... I feel like construction speed, building speed, has got to be really, really important in this game. So we're going to unlock building speed. There it is. And I'm inclined to max it, and then I'm also inclined to max research speed after that. So let's max our building speed. Oh, yeah. Look at how much that ramps up toward the end there. That's remarkably strong. That is remarkably strong. We got a chest over here we can claim. We got another active reward. Maybe? Why was it glowing? I don't know. Okay. Uh, what else do we need to do? Let's show you the world. 
Let's show you the world. We are, I believe, on server number two in Game of Thrones, and it put us onto the server automatically. It put us onto the server automatically. Does this game have Call Drogo? Man, I haven't seen Call Drogo. Let's just look real quick. Kevin, Goral, Russell. Oh, there's Jamie Lannister. Oh, I can't click him. Oh, I could. Oopsies. Hold on. There's Jamie Lannister. Oh, man. We got to unlock Jamie. So, oh, Clegane. Sir Clegane. He's in here. Raymond, Miranda, Arya Stark, Theon, Marjorie, Daenerys. Oh, mother of dragons. I mean, they have her as a spearman, it looks like. But she should just be a dragon wielder? Question mark. Oh, Peter Baelish. Meryl, Tyrion, of course. Cersei, of course. Varys, Melisandre. Yeah. Robert. Yeah, there's a lot of characters in here that I'm recognizing. Now, we're looking at the world map. I think I can zoom out maybe a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. Um, these are other player cities off to the side over here. These are real player cities. Here, where did I go? Where's my city? Here I am. So you can see my city hall level. This I, I joined this kingdom, and, and like I joined kind of late. The kingdom had been around I don't know how long before I joined, so I'm kind of at a big disadvantage in that regard, but like the game's in beta, so it is what it is. Um, there are units you can raid on the map, and raiding these units gives you rewards, which is pretty sweet, and there's a bunch of additional rewards if you actually take them down. Um, there's a bunch of resource gathering you could do, so I could send an army to go and do that, right? I could send some troops. Um, I probably should do that, but I don't know. I kind of want to have my army around for now, so we'll hang off on doing that. Ton of stuff going on here. Ton of stuff going on here, and if I look, let's see here. Let's look at the kingdom map. So if we step way back, here's where we are. It's a big map. We are pretty close to King's Landing. Let's go look. There's King's Landing. I mean, I wonder if there's a way to siege this. Ooh, here you will find great family honor, power, and wealth. You must be in an alliance in order to attack or occupy a great city. And great cities occupied by an alliance will provide a buff to all alliance members. This is kind of like holy sites. The leader of the alliance that can occupy King's Landing will be crowned the king, naturally. We can look. Can we enter? Ooh. All right. Well, it looks like whoever is here, this person, they use... Uh, Rob Stark is their primary commander. It looks like there's some interesting stuff here. Worldwide pardon? What? Rewards? Wow. All right. Notice? Uh, okay. All right. All right. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let's go back to our city. Here we are. Here we are in all this madness. Whew. Okay, we're going to go back to our inner city. We're going to go back to our inner city. And we got some more gems. So what I think I want to do with those gems is power up the VIP level a little bit. And when we do that, we hit VIP level 6, which is really sweet. Because now we get 15 minutes of free hasten time at the end of every building. And I believe there's a VIP chest at level 6 that we can open. Get a bunch of goodies, which is pretty cool. And there's different levels of VIP chests that you can get. And you can open one VIP chest per hour. Looks like there was an alliance quest that I completed. We got some rewards for that. And here's where we can look at the main quest line and the story quest line. Now to take back Deerwood, let's go get a look here. To take back Deerwood... Let's scout this and see what they have. So their rating is 13,660. They have a lot of units here. And they have a lot of wall durability units. 
So if we were to attack this, we'd really need a fair amount more, I feel like. We don't we don't have that many troops. Are we even training troops right now? We are. Is there a way to see how many troops we have? I don't know how to do that. That's kind of funny. Oh, total soldiers, 1,900. I mean, okay, so what if we do this? What if we quick hasten? We finish that. Uh, we finish something else, apparently, too. Stage normal challenge of one complete. That's cool. Let's go look at this event. So it looks like there's an event going on right now where we got a reward for just training soldiers, which is kind of cool. We could train more soldiers and get more hours of speed-ups? Wait a minute. That practically pays for itself. Hold on. Hold on. Is this right? I mean, let's just hasten this. Quick hasten. Okay, and we'll do it again. I don't know. Let's make cavalry. Here we go. Quick hasten. Sure, whatever. How close are we? Uh... Where's the event? Oh, normal challenge. What? Well, we... Oh, yeah, no. That... We did not progress as much as I thought we were progressing. What else could we do? Attack monsters? What are monsters? Attack a rank 1 field leader is 30 points. 30 points is really not a lot of points. We need a lot of points. All right, maybe we shouldn't hasten more troops. I don't know that that's actually a thing that's going to work. Well, we only have five minutes to do it if we are. I don't think we have the hours of speed up to pull that off, unfortunately. Let's see. We'll, we'll complete this quest, claim the reward, get a bunch of experience, and then we need to take back Deerwood. Um, what we could do... Let's see here. We could finish the wall. We could hasten it. Use a bunch of our speed ups to do that. And then hit free. And now we can kick off this guy, which is going to take three hours. Hit help. Do we have enough speed ups to get through that? I don't think we do. Oh, we do. I mean, sure, let's just do it. The rest is free. Castle upgrade to eight. We got a bunch of speed ups for doing that. New building unlocked. Blacksmith. Forge Lord equipment and combined materials. So that seems cool. Melisandre, visit the blacksmith to forge equipment for your Lord. That seems good. That seems really good. Okay. Oh, looks like we're st stuck. Oh. Hmm. I think we're supposed to be seeing a chapter cutscene. Whatever. Okay. So, let's claim that reward. New Lord level. Which means we can go in and use our talents to further reduce construction speed. And, like, every point there, like, the last point was 10%. It seems like in this game, you should get to one of these things and then put a bunch of points into it to power it up a whole heck of a lot. Our next one is definitely going to be research speed. We're going to go completely ham on research speed. Okay, now for our campaign quest, we upgraded the wall. We trained troops. We upgraded the castle. Nice. Nice. Bunch of goodies. No current constructions. Let's see here. Can we upgrade this blacksmith? We can. It's level one. Because, as I mentioned, our VIP level means that anything less than like 15 minutes we can do for free. We basically get the first couple levels of that for totally free. And now we can upgrade this a little more. While it's upgrading, let's get a look at what the blacksmith can do. So the blacksmith can forge equipment. That's cool. And the equipment does different stuff, offers a bunch of stats. And I think it said it goes on to your lord rather than your commanders. Because we already know there's commander gear here. Okay, and it looks like you can get the quality to go way up for each of these pieces of loot. That's cool. Okay. So we can make sweet gear, and then this is where we would equip it to. This is where we would equip it to. Okay. Feeling pretty good about all that. And we're Lord level 18. We're cruising right along. 
All right. Ooh, we're not training any troops. That's a problem. We're going to go train some troops, get that going. And I think, I think we have enough troops to try to tackle this. Whoa, where did I go? I clicked a bunch of buildings. I didn't know I was clicking. Let's see here. That's the wall. What did I click? A merchant guild. I don't know what this does. And it looks like he's just got question marks. So he doesn't know what he does either. <laughs> okay. Um, can we beat this guy? Can we beat this guy? He's got well over 2,000 units. We have... We must have at least 3,000 now. Yeah, we have 3,000 units. I mean... Yeah, let's just do it. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Also, it looks like we can claim rewards here. Oh, yeah, because our castle leveled up. Okay. Cool. All right, well, that seems good. Okay. Here we go. Can we beat this difficulty? Mm, I don't know. Let's find out. Auto-select the commanders. Those seem fine. Um, okay. Let's attack. Let's attack and hope for the best, because if we mess up, we have real troop deaths. Savage. Super savage. We have more troops than them. That's promising. Here comes the arrows. Uh-oh. And we're off. Okay, so now is when the castle defends itself. You saw some rocks get thrown down a second ago. I bet you those castle defenses get way more sophisticated when you get further along. So far, we're not losing too many troops compared to them especially. So I'm feeling really good about this attack. I'm also really glad we spent all those speed-ups training up troops. That was probably worth it. All right, and... The wall is down. Now the troops on the ground. Here we go. Oh yeah, we're just super wrecking these guys. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. Osman's taking some damage over here. Okay. The defending army retreated, which means we're going to have to battle them again to claim the territory. But we're very close to finishing this chapter. Holy moly. 572 dead? Jeez. That's like a sixth of my troops, right? Jeez. All right, well, I don't know why we increased our rating somehow from doing that, but we are going to need to heal our troops. We're going to use a bunch of these iron tokens, heal them up, heal the troops, confirm... Okay, and I guess we'll speed up these troops and then go again. Use a quick hasten, fire that up, and then train more troops. I'm not really sure what troops we should be training. Um, I don't know. Infantry seem fine. Cool. Okay, um, we finished our blacksmith upgrade. We can upgrade that one again. I don't think we need to. We're not really doing anything with the blacksmith. We need to upgrade the wall and the barracks. Barracks seems good to upgrade. To do the barracks, we need the quarry. All right. Quarry, it is. And after a couple helps, we'll be able to finish that off. Let's finish taking Deerwood. Let's finish taking Deerwood. We should be able to completely smash this. Okay. Here we go. Chisquil, where do I pre-register? Check the link in the description of this video. Uh-oh. I think we found a bug. Eh, I think we found a bug. I mean, it is in beta, right? Here we go. We breached the city wall. And we're charging in. This is not made by the same people who make Rise of Civilizations. This is, uh, I believe, made by Yuzu Games. All right, and the defensive army is, it says it retreated, but like we definitely beat them. 
We definitely beat them. We still had 116 troops die. Oh, that's so painful. That's so painful. Okay. Oh, um, we're kind of looking in the middle of nowhere. Oh, we unlocked a new region. The mint, the hospital, and the army tent. All right, I'm not sure where we're looking. So I'm just going to relocate my view here back to the inner city. Uh-oh. There we go. Wait. Wait a minute. All right. Well, it is a beta test. They don't call it a beta test for nothing. We found a bug. I think we're going to collect our rewards and maybe call it here. We're going to collect our goodies, complete our chapter rewards. Bada boom. Chapter rewards complete. We got an Osman medal, which is really, really good. Our next... Ah. Chapter 8, The Long Night. Cool. Okay. Now we need to upgrade the castle level 9, unlock a tier 2 troop, train 500 tier 2 troops, and clear elite stage 1-9. P.S. We're already a lot of the way toward com completing elite stage 1-9. Um, yeah. I feel pretty good about our progress. Let's, let's see here. When we go into Osman, we don't have enough medals yet to upgrade him more. And it looks like he's, he's still not leveling up, which is kind of weird. So I don't know why that is. I don't know what I have to do to get him past level 15. Does it say? It doesn't say. Ooh, he has guards. Promotion increases the number of guards. That's pretty cool. All right. All right. We're going to call it here. I hope you enjoyed joining us in the Game of Thrones Winter is Coming beta testing. I'm enjoying this game. I mean, we just spent at least an hour powering up, which was a lot of fun. Check out the link in the description if you want to uh, sign up for a little bit of pre-registration for this game. I believe there's some goodies they're giving you if you do that. And until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom.